How's it going YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be describing you the average living expenses of living in a tier 1 city in China. Now for those of you new to my channel, my name is Michael and I provide tips and tricks for foreigners to have a comfortable lifestyle in China and I am based in Guangzhou. I'll be talking about two scenarios for monthly expenses. The first one is if you're thrifty and your focus is save, 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 and what is the minimal amount you can expect to spend in a tier one city. And the second one is if you are rolling deep in the cash and making over like 40K RMB each month and you want to live a luxury lifestyle in China. So I'm gonna be breaking down the expenses in the following criteria. Housing, power electricity, internet, phone, food and groceries, transportation, and entertainment. So let's get started with the thrifty side. So starting with housing, it can range from free to 3,000 RMB. The reason I say free is that there are a lot of agencies, specifically English teaching agencies, that will provide you free housing. But if you want to live in an area kind of close to the city, maybe four to five subway stops away, and just a, a modest one bedroom, one bathroom apartment, you can expect to pay up to 3,000 RMB each month. And you don't have to worry, tier one cities have very developed public transportation routes, so it's very convenient to take the subway and get to where you need to go. Actually, I made a video about taking public transportation and you can look at it right here, or I'll put it down in the description below. But for the average housing expenses, let's just make it 2,000 RMB. Let's move on to the next one, power and electricity. Now, believe it or not, Power and electricity here is pretty cheap. It can be between 50 to 150 RMB, depending if you like turn off the air conditioning and maybe you turn off the lights every time you leave the house. So let's make the average 100 RMB. Next is internet and TV. It's similar to power electricity. You can expect to pay between 50 to 250 RMB. The reason I say this is because 5G is slowly being introduced into the Chinese market in Guangzhou. So that price could spike up a little bit. But if you want just a decent internet connection here, well, 150 RMB is enough. Now for your phone. Phones here typically work on a pay-as-you-go basis. So the more data you use, the more you have to pay each month. Or you'll get a notification via text saying you, you need to pay your bill. If not, we're going to cut you off. So a modest range, if you're just using your phone for work or something like that, could be between 50 to 100 RMB. If you like playing games a lot and you're a social butterfly and always on social media here, you can be high ends of 100 RMB each month. And you guessed it, I definitely made a video about how to get a Chinese phone in China. You can click on that link and I'll put it in the description below as well. So let's just make the phone 75 RMB average. So the next one is food and groceries. This can be between 300 to 500 RMB. And this highly depends on what kind of supermarket you go to. If you go to the local supermarket, you can get everything at a cheap price and you can cook everything from your house. And you can even go outside to eat very uh, local areas, maybe 10 to 20 RMB per meal, and you're not going out and extravagantly spending all the time. So let's put groceries at 400 RMB. Transportation's next, I love this one. This could be between free to maybe 300 RMB. And the reason I say this is if you live close to your work and you own a bike, it can pretty much be free. Specifically in Guangzhou, if you own a bike, you can go to most of the city center in Guangzhou in a biking distance. But if you take the subway to and from work every day for let's say 20, 20 plus days, then you can expect to pay an average of 300 RMB each month. So let's just make the average 200 RMB. Next is entertainment and shopping. Now, if you don't go crazy on Taobao and start buying everything online and you just wanna buy like clothes on your back and maybe new shoes every once in a while and go out to watch a movie every once in a while, then you can probably expect to spend between 400 to 600 RMB each month. So let's just make the average 500 RMB. So what's the verdict if you want to live in a tier one city living in a modest lifestyle? I would say if you add up all the averages we did, I would say 3,500 RMB more or less, which is almost like $500 as a reference. So if you're making over 10, thousand RMB each month, you can save a lot of money for either, either sending it back home or using it for a future investment. But let's say you don't want to save money and you have a great lifestyle here and you have the money to do so, like you make over 40k RMB each month. So what does that look like? Let's start with housing. Now if you want to live in the city center, everything like the Times Square of New York but in Guangzhou and you want to live in a one or two bedroom apartment, want to have a family and you want to pay monthly rent, you can expect to pay between 10,000 and 15,000 RMB each month. Now this is dead in the center, the most popular area where everywhere is walkable distance and you can order food of any kind straight to your doorstep. So let's make the average 12,500 RMB. 
power and electricity, again, it's not so expensive here. Maybe a little bit more expensive because you're using more appliances, but maybe between 100 to 300 RMB. And let's just make the average 200 RMB. Internet and TV, so if you want like the highest speed internet and all that, again, they're slowly rolling 5G, but for now, I would say between 50 to 250 RMB. So let's make the average 150 RMB. For your phone, if you always want a constant hotspot for some reason and you, you just a crazy social butterfly, always on the internet, always playing games on your phone, you can raise the expectation to 100 to 250 RMB, but let's make the average 100 RMB. Food and groceries, you love to go out and eat, and you also love to go to supermarkets that have a lot of imported food, like in Europe, Australia, the Americas, and you just love living that lifestyle. You can expect to pay between 600 to 3,000 RMB. Let's just make the average 1,500 RMB. Transportation. Now this is assuming two scenarios for you, that you own a car and you drive everywhere. Gas is expensive in the city. You can expect to pay at least 1,000 RMB each month just on gas. And in the high end, if you want to hire a driver, you can expect to pay at most maybe 10,000 RMB each month. So let's just make the average 5,000 RMB for that one. Entertainment and shopping. So you love going to like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Chanel to go shopping. And you always go out to do VIP services in a bar, maybe karaoke, all that. You can expect to spend an additional five to 10,000 RMB each month. And let's just make it an even 7,500 RMB. Now I'll put a bonus category here and that's for housekeeping. So in China, housekeeping is actually pretty affordable if you really want it. And this can be between 3,000 and 6,000 RMB. 3,000 would be more of like a part-time, maybe five times a week, and 6,000 would be like a full-time, like they pretty much live in your house and it would be seven days a week. So let's make that average 4,500. So what's the verdict? If you're rolling in deep the cash and you wanna live a luxurious lifestyle, you can expect to spend probably 31,000 plus RMB which would be the equivalent of $4,500. Now, I hope you got a good understanding of how much it costs to live in a tier one city, whether you wanna be a thrifty person or you just wanna live a luxurious lifestyle. Again, like I said, I provide tips and tricks for those foreigners wanting to live or come visit China. So consider subscribing to my channel if you wanna see more content like this because I post every week. If you found value from this video, please smash that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one.